Hey, hey, and welcome to the final level of TNT Evolution. This is Last Call. So you want to take note of the Order of the Call of the Lamps here, because those tell you how to get through the next puzzle that we'll be talking about here. So this opening room here has a very interesting puzzle. Basically, you've got to run across the top of these pillars, each with a different colour of candle on top. And if you run onto the wrong space, you end up dead instantly. There's no kind of comeback from that. So the solution to it is actually presented to you in that opening room. You've got to follow the colored candles as they are presented. But the thing is, the game doesn't tell you that. So it ends up kind of being a bit more of a trial and error kind of thing. I mean, that's how I did it as a kid. I don't know how I feel about that as an opening puzzle. It's very interesting, don't get me wrong. And it's very clever to use the candles like that. But unfortunately, because it's not communicated very well to the gamer, the first few times you come to this level, you're probably just going to end up blind running it and hoping that you find the right solution. So we're going to get rid of this Arachnatron here, and we're going to collect all the items there. So we're going to hit the switch here, and that's going to turn this room into absolute chaos. As you can see, there's a bunch of enemies who kind of raise up out of the different sort of areas here we need to be very careful because we can lose health fast here there's a lot of bony boys and they're all kind of looking at me as a giant piece of meat ready to be sort of savage so let's just get rid of these guys as quickly as possible try to avoid the rockets that they're firing as much as possible I am making a bit of a dog's dinner of this but you know what else would you expect So as we kind of make our way around here, you can see that this has raised up. We're going to hit the switch there. We're not doing too hot in the health department here. But one thing I do like about Last Call, compared to like Dune 2's final level, and compared to Plutonia's final level, is that this is actually a level. So it's not just a boss room that's kind of thrown at you. You actually have to work towards the boss room, and I kind of dig that. It's it's definitely a novel approach in the retail Doom games. So as we enter this room here, there's a bunch of caco demons. There's a cyber demon just up there where you can see he's trying to shoot at us. Now, fun fact, if you stand here, he can't actually shoot you over this barrier. No matter how hard he tries, no matter how close he gets, or anything like that, he will always shoot into the wall here. If you run up to face him, however, he will have free rain at you and probably will hit you or at least hit you with the splash damage. So it's best to just stand down here and take him out with the plasma rifle and the super shotgun. Honestly, the, it's the best way to do it in my opinion. So we'll hit this switch here and it's worth noting that this is where if you're playing on an incorrect compatibility level and yes we're going to get a bit technical here you will see this break so what basically happens here is that when you play doom on any of these source ports or whether you whenever you play on one of the classic games there are certain things that are changed in each of the source ports and tnt has its own specific sort of compatibility and if you play this with the doom 2 compatibility it'll break simple as that the the stirs will not raise fully and it is very kind of interesting because that's not something you really have to deal with for the rest of this wad it's literally just this level where that happens so you can hear a bunch of enemies here there's a bunch of cages that have just risen up we don't have to deal with the enemies in those cages because luckily in a second when we go through this teleporter here we will actually see them teleport in and kill each other because they'll all telefrag each other so this is the boss room say hello to the icon of sin in a second hello icon of sin so there's some enemies already here that we need to get rid of i want to get rid of these barons as quickly as possible because we're going to need to get up there to shoot into the into the head of the icon of sin so what i'm doing here i'm just clearing out the enemies as quickly as I can we may end up dying here I'm making good use of the BFG there yeah I'm just gonna grab the health packs in here 
It's also worth noting that if you're playing on the wrong compatibility settings, the staircase at the top there, which you actually need to finish this level, will not raise fully because you actually have to stand on the second highest step here and shoot. If you try shooting from the top, it's just a bit too, t too high. If you try shooting from that step below, you'll, you'll miss. So you have to be on that the, like the highest step there. In my opinion, Last Call's a fine level. It's, it's nothing memorable. It's not a great level. It doesn't come in the top levels with TNT. But at the end of the day, as an icon of Sin level, I think it at least tries to be a level. And I think that's quite a novelty. Because there's a fair few wads, even in the modern day, that don't even get that right. So, I at least appreciate that. And it's much better than Doom 2's. Let's be completely honest about that. But yeah, Last Call is... It's a fun little level. The puzzle at the start can be very obtuse, but it's got some right, memorable moments, and ultimately that's what you want from your final level. So what else can you really want from it? Do you think this is a great icon of Sin level? Do you like this level, or do you hate it? Let me know what you think of Last Call, and I will at some point be doing a full-on retrospective look at TNT. But up next, well, let's see what happens.